the pyramids of Egypt, the rainforests of Brazil, and the sidewalk cafes of Paris are just a few of the attractions that draw tourists from across the world. But which nations get the most tourists? Well, if that's something you're curious about, stay tuned till the end of the video because today, we'll take a look at the 10 most popular tourist destinations in the world. Number 1. France France's cafe terraces, village square markets, and bistros with chalked-up plat de jour menus attract a lot of travelers. France boasts world-class art and architecture. It entices you with famous landmarks and foods. This country's culture is overwhelming. Even after seeing Mademoiselle Eiffel, Regal Versailles, and the French Riviera, there is still a lot to see and do. And that's why France is the most visited country in the world. 89 million visitors go each year to enjoy its museums, galleries, ateliers, and other cultural activities. When it comes to the GDP of France, the main contribution is its tourism industry. In fact, last year, tourism made up for 1.4% of its GDP and income from tourism was more than $35 billion. Typically, visitors spend around $307 on a trip to France. Number 2. Spain Spain is both a cliché and a nation more beautiful than you could imagine. Spain's landscapes are especially noteworthy. The Pyrenees and Picos de Europa are as spectacular as any mountain range on the continent, while the Sierra Nevada rises unexpectedly from Andalusia's sun-baked plains. Besides that, the food and wine of Spain also attracts millions of people. Back in 2020, Spain got a total of 36 million visitors. That year, tourism generated more than $81 billion for the country, and that was 5.7% of its GDP. Each tourist to Spain spends around $635. Number 3. USA The United States of America is a popular tourist destination for people from all over the globe. Visitors from across the world flock to the country's iconic cities, national parks, and entertainment venues every year. Almost 80 million foreign tourists visited the United States in 2019, a figure that has steadily increased over the last decade. In 2019, the travel and tourism sector generated over $1.1 trillion in GDP and supported millions of employment in the United States because of an inflow of tourists and an increase in U.S. travel expenditure. Following the coronavirus pandemic, the tourism industry of USA suffered, but it's getting back to its old state quite quickly now. Number 4. China On number 4, we have China. China was visited by 30 million people in 2020. Among the most visited cities is Hong Kong, which had more than 26 million tourists last year. Other highly visited cities are Beijing, for the Forbidden City in Tiananmen Square, and Shanghai for its amazing malls and, of course, the Great Wall. Also, China is home to the Terracotta Army, Tibet's Himalayan highlands, and the tropical island of Hainan in the South China Sea, which also attract a lot of tourists. During last year, the country earned more than $40 billion from tourism alone, which made up 0.29% of its GDP. On average, a person spends around $255 on their trip to China. Number 5. Italy Italy is one of Europe's most appealing destinations, thanks to its mouthwatering cuisine, magnificent architecture, stunning landscapes, and world-class art. As a result, tourists definitely get highly attracted. In 2020, Italy had a total of 38 million visitors. Rome, Florence, and Venice are the three most important cities in Italy that you have to see if you're visiting for around a week. But if you have more weeks to spare, you should definitely save it for Italy because you won't be able to see it all in just a week. Rome was not created overnight and you cannot see it in a day. Instead, give yourself at least two days, and ideally three, to complete the task. The Colosseum, Pantheon, Palatino Palace, St. Peter's Basilica, and the Vatican Museums are all must-sees on any visit to Rome. Last year, the country earned a total income of $20.46 billion from tourism, which made 1.1% of its GDP. On average, that's $533 spent by each visitor on their trip. Number 6. Turkey 
While the Hagia Sophia Cathedral and the Top Copy Palace are man-made marvels, the biblical city of Ephesus, the fantastic city of Cappadocia, and Mount Nemrit's desolate fallen magnificence are all part of Turkey's rich cultural heritage. Natural treasures such as Ayudena's and Patera's famed beaches, Pamukkale's mineral spas, and the Mediterranean coastline are all found in Turkey. And thanks to all that, the tourism rate of Turkey is among the highest all around the world. Presently, Turkey earns a revenue of around $14 million, or 1.9% of its GDP from tourism alone. That amounts to an average cost of $862 per visitor. Number 7. Mexico Mexico is a land of burning rainforests, snow-capped mountains, cactus-strewn plains, and 10,000 kilometers of coastline dotted with sandy beaches and wildlife-rich lagoons. You can surf the pounding waves of the Pacific, swim in the Caribbean Sea, ride the white water of Mexico's rivers, hike through the cloud forests of Oaxaca's mountains, climb the tops of the region's dormant volcanoes, or watch as millions of monarch butterflies make their annual migration. In the last year, tourism revenue of the country presently amounts to $11.45 billion, representing for 1.1% of GDP. Visitors to Mexico currently spend an average of 224 USD every trip. Number 8. Thailand Thailand welcomes guests with a grin as golden as the country's temples and beaches, and a lifestyle that is equal parts hedonistic and historical. If you want a tropical vacation, Thailand has got you covered. The country's two coasts and more than 1,400 jungle-covered islands in turquoise seas make it paradise for everyone, from the hermit to the royal. You can scuba dive with whale sharks in the seas of Koh Tao, climb Krabi's sea cliffs, kiteboard in Waween, and party on Koh Phi Phi. In 2019, Thailand welcomed 40 million visitors, and in the last year, the country generated a revenue of over $15 billion from tourism alone that made up for 3.1% of its whole GDP. Number 9. Germany Experience Germany's soul-stirring landscapes, spirit-lifting culture, big city beauty, beautiful castles, and half-timbered villages on a roller coaster of feasts, pleasures, and temptations. This country's landscape, from the craggy Alps to the north's corrugated shoreline, to its dark woods and charming river valleys and vineyards, has an undeniable aesthetic quality. All of them are part of a wonderful natural matrix that is sure to drain your camera's battery. Visiting Germany means you can spend time in the city, but you can also go out into nature and appreciate the calm, relaxing natural sceneries of the country for miles and miles. Cities with streets built out before Columbus set sail and castles looming above half-timbered villages with flower boxes full of scarlet geraniums are just some of the places where you will find history in the country. In 1995, Germany welcomed around 15 million visitors which accounted for 0.93% of its GDP, but over the last 27 years, the country's reliance on its tourism industry grew significantly. In fact, as of last year, the tourism industry accounted for over $58 billion of income for the country, which made up 1.5% of its GDP. That means, on average, a visitor spends $1,475 on their trip to Germany. Number 10. United Kingdom Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, the changing of the guard of Buckingham Palace, and the British Museum, which has the biggest collection of Egyptian antiquities outside of Cairo, are just a few of London's most popular attractions. Beyond London, England also has Stonehenge, the Beatles' birthplace in Liverpool, the Cotswolds' quaint beauty, the Eden Project's sci-fi botanical gardens, and so much more. In addition, the United Kingdom has three further divisions. First off, we have the ancient Edinburgh in the Scottish Highlands where you can find Loch Ness, Iverness, and the St. Andrews Golf Course. Secondly, you have Cardiff, which is the capital and largest city of Wales and is a beautiful tourist destination. Last but not least, we have the vibrant nightlife and natural beauties in Northern Ireland. Because of all these beauties, around 40 million tourists visit the country every year. And with that, we come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, press the bell icon so you never miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out, and have a great day.